Hi folks, I had a question from Tranquility in Art asking if I just make the paintings up as I go along or am I using reference photographs or sketches that I've done. A few years ago I used to make them up as I went along most of the time and then I remember looking at them after a while and, and thinking they all looked very very similar. I don't know if I just haven't got a broad enough imagination or what it was. I tend to just go into some sort of routine when I'm making them up and just use the same format um, so it's difficult to get um, variety whether it's the compositions, tones, everything seems to look the same so these days I tend to use photographs I know traditionally we're meant to use our own sketches but I've always personally preferred using photographs it's just less faff um, so the, the good thing about photographs is or well <coughs> So tell a lot. The most difficult part of photographs is getting a decent reference. If you can get a good reference photo with the contrasts, I find the contrasts are the hardest. One of the reasons why I don't use so many of my own photographs is whether it's just because I'm living in the middle of England, we don't tend to get a lot of sun. And without sun, you don't get the shadows, and without the shadows, you, you can't get the contrasts. So it's like today. It's quite, this is like a typical day where I live. It's just very, very cloudy, <clears throat> can't see the sun. There's no shadows anywhere. So if I was to take a photograph of this field, like, there's no, uh, it's difficult to get a, a, an exciting image, because there's just no difference in tonal values. Which is why most of the time, that's when I started going on, uh, going online and trying to get images, reference photographs online. The problem then is you're using someone else's uh, photographs and it's their compositions and I don't really like doing that. I do prefer to use my own work. I feel as if I'm cheating if I'm using someone else's photo. I think what would probably help is if I planned ahead a bit more and actually kept an eye on the weather forecast. And when it was sunny and favourable conditions, then decide, plan ahead. And actually go then rather than just doing it by it all the time like today i didn't plan to go out today i've just done it off the cuff um and then you just at the complete mercy then of what the weather's going to be like um so i think planning ahead might be the answer really <laughs> 